so Rare Beauty is finally in the UK and I bought some things because I had to. I love Selena Gomez. I got the 4-in-1 The Optimist Mist, which is really cute. I opened them all yesterday. I did a little video on that. Um, Selena's faves uh, with like a few things in. And then the eyeliner because I always wear eyeliner. Um, I also got the like samples of the foundation because I don't know like what colour I'll be. Uh, I imagine I'll be like one of the paler ones, like probably the palest one, but um, yeah, I'm going to test um, that one out probably and we'll see, we'll see. Um, oh, this actually comes with primer, so you know what, we'll go with the primer first. Um, okay, oh, okay, that makes sense. So it comes, I was like, how, how does this work? I think this should be enough to cover the full face. Get this out, this will be a miracle. Oh, okay, oh, okay. It's quite easy to open, that's good. I say that. Oh, come on. I'm hoping this is enough to cover my whole face. Okay, it's like this. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, I think that'll be enough to cover my whole face. This seems to cover like quite a lot. I don't think you need a lot of this. This is quite good actually. It feels like a good primer. Um, has a little bit of a scent, but nothing to, like too strong. I don't know if you can use too much primer. I don't know if that's like a thing, but we'll find out. I think there's enough. There we go. And I'm gonna just put some on my eyes as well. I swear by this makeup technique. Oops. I swear by this makeup technique now. I saw it on TikTok, and basically, you put your primer on, you get like powder, you put that all on, and then you do setting spray. Wait for the setting spray to dry, and then do your makeup, and it stays on all day. Um, and I do this every day for work now, and it works. So I swear, I swear by it now. I've never done it with this primer though, so this should be fun. Okay, so I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I really like this powder, it's quite a nice powder. I alternate between this one and the Collection one because that's um, that's another nice one that I like and it's really cheap. Um, there we go. So you don't put like loads on. I probably have put too much on but you don't put like loads on so you do that and then get a setting spray which... oh. Oh, I've got my new Selena Gomez one, so I'm gonna use that. Um, I'm hoping this will work with this, obviously, because I've never tested this technique out with this. Um, we'll find out. This should be fun. Um, I presume you shake it. You shake everything else before you use it, so I'm gonna shake this. Uh, the packaging's cute. It obviously has the little lid with like the logo. Cute. Okay. Feels really nice. And it does have a little bit of a scent, I think. Or oh, I'm smelling, oh, I swap with something. Oh, I'm smelling something else. That's quite nice, so wait for that to dry. That felt really nice going on. <laughs> Not to sound like really weird, it was quite like a nice mess. That was, that was nice, I like it. I don't have a mirror in front of me because I'm, I'm in front of my window to see it. Okay, mm, looks all right, looks quite good. Almost dry. I'm gonna use shade 160C, which is this one from the tester. Uh, it might be too dark for me, so we might just use like another one because like 160 C is there and I'm probably here, especially because I've not like fake tanned or anything. But there are a lot of shades, so these are all the shades um, on the back of this tester and it comes with, um, the tester comes with blah 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 blah, 160 C, 250 W, um, 350 C, 450 N, and 540 C. No idea what kind of skin tone I am. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of a cool one, cause less neutral, because like apparently if you look at your veins and they're like blue, then it means, yeah. How's, okay. Is that too dark? Mm, let's have a look in a, a mirror. You know what, I don't think it'll be that bad once we blend it out, so we're gonna use this as our foundation today. It's so weird just to get it out of like a little like thing. I never really use testers, I always like get them and then forget about them, so I'm excited to use this. I forgot to put primer on. No I didn't, no I did it first. I was like, oh my gosh. It, it's a bit messy. Um, I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. Only enough to cover your face, but like I want to use like all of it because I don't want to waste it. The blenders I use are just the ones from Primark. They come in like a pack of like a few with like orange and pink ones for like eight pounds. And they last a while because like you have different ones. And they're pretty good to be honest. I always use mine like damp. Um, if I remember, sometimes I don't and it doesn't turn out as good. Okay, let's see how this is blending. Because I'm currently just using my, like, camera. I think it's blending out really nicely. If 
for contour today I'm probably going to use the one I've been using a lot recently which is the NYX Born to Glow. It's a concealer but I get it in like a darker shade because I saw that on TikTok um, and I just never even considered that before. Oh I think this is looking really good. Uh, honestly I didn't think this shade would match me so I'm, I'm kind of impressed. Basically, I only got like small ones of the Selena Gomez like favourites to see which ones I like because I don't want to get like a full one and then be like, oh, that doesn't match me. But I want to check these because I trust Selena Gomez, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping they look good. I'm hoping I have enough battery on my camera to do a full makeup routine. It's gone on really nicely. I don't know if this is focusing. Um, oh my gosh, this is, I've never done the camera this close to my face. That was not a good look for me. Concealer, I use the Too Faced one. It is the best concealer ever. I usually use this especially if I'm not um, putting any like foundation on because it's it's really good. It's, it's quite good coverage as well. <laughs> it's always good to see like, if makeup's really good if it like blends with other makeup because obviously you don't, sometimes you don't always like lay everything in a makeup collection or like sometimes you don't have everything. So it's good to have, know that you can use it with your other things if that makes sense. It's going really well with it. As mentioned, this is the contour I use. Um, the packaging is coming off, like the text. Uh, so I just blah 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 blah. Apparently, people do dots now. Uh, so I do dots. <laughs> I try to do them like close to my forehead, but that just does not look good. Um, I don't know if you're really meant to contour your nose. I see a lot of people doing it, but whenever I do it, I it looks weird. So we're not gonna do it. That really good. Uh, I want to try the Charlotte till. Oops to try the Charlotte Tilbury one but it's sold out so we'll wait for that to come back in stock but apparently this is like a good dupe for it and it's, it's pretty good you know I like it so this is the liquid blush and um, the rare beauty one it's tiny it's in the little Selena Selena's faves uh, thing I'm gonna do the youtuber thing um yeah it's in shade joy um yeah let's try this out Okay, I've not used this before. Oh, I was not expecting that applicator. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Because I've tried to like avoid looking at things, like people doing like makeup videos with it, because I wanted to like experience it properly uh, for the first time. Okay, that is a good color. Oh, it's like, would you say corally? I'd say corally. Okay, uh, let's try it from there. These seem quite small, but I feel like they could probably last quite a while. Let's, let's blend this out. Should I do it with my fingers or a beauty? I'm gonna try it with a beauty blender. I blend, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Glow one, but I used my fingers to blend that out. Okay. She's looking, I look like a clown at the moment, but once we blended it out, she's blending out very, very nicely and smoothly. Cause I've got like quite dry patches on my skin and sometimes like blush goes on really weird cause it's especially dry around here. But like, that's going on nicely. Oh, I like that. That looks good. Like, I also, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I'm going to put some blush here at the end. Um, because it looks cute. Oh, I do like this. Okay, I'm going to put blush there. I, I know a lot of people don't like it there, but I think it makes you look like you've been in the sun. Um, so I love it. And it with my beauty blender, so it's not like gone on like really, really like, like, really your nose. Liquid highlighter. I love a liquid highlighter. I think they're amazing. It makes you look super, super glowy. And this is in shade Mesmerize. So we're gonna... They are really cute and tiny, these. Okay, applicator's the same. Cute. We like it, we like it. Okay. So, pop some here. Ooh, that's a nice colour. That is nice. That's very me. This is my fingers, actually, because, like, I like highlighter to be, like, really, really noticeable. Oh, she's blending out. Oh, that's blending out nicely. Oh, look at the nose. Oh, the nose highlight's amazing. I got this in the Black Friday sale. It's a Morph, Morphe one, um, however you pronounce it. Um, and it was literally like £8.91. I'm gonna go like with this color. Um, nothing nothing too adventurous because we're gonna do eyeliner. In particular, what eyeliner I like um, because I don't like it too like intense. Like I don't do anything like excited with my eyeliner, I just do like a small little wing. Spectrum does really nice like collections. They, I have the bunch of Mean Girls brushes they did. I think my Hello Kitty ones are also Spectrum. Now we're gonna do the winged eyeliner. Let's shake it, cause it makes a noise when you shake it. So that means that you need to shake it, I think. So this is the tip. Oh, please focus. Is this why, oh, that's why they did that, so it focuses. 
Um, it's, it reminds me of watercolour pens I've had in the past. Always nerve-wracking doing winged eyeliner on camera. So I used to do like quite a dramatic wing, like I used to do like quite a thick one, but now I do like a really, really thin one. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried. Okay. Oh, it goes on really nicely. It feels nice. Sometimes when you do eyeliner, it can feel a bit like, not painful to palm, but like not nice. Okay, so we've done like one. Uh, and then I'll, I'll fix it. So that's the angle. Um, remember, eyeliners are sisters, not twins, because it's too much effort to do twins. Oh my gosh, I blinked, I blinked. Okay, I, they are uneven because I blinked and that's my own fault. You do that bit where you do connect the wing to your eyelid, she's really good at that. That's nice. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to redo the eye Eye makeup remover. <laughs> we didn't want to have to bring it out today, but she's here. Okay, she's coming off quite well with this, so that's nice. She's not like smudging like those when you try to remove it, which I absolutely hate. I'm gonna do my mascara first and then I'm gonna do my eyeliner because I find when I do that, I can do like a nice small wing and it's usually more even or at least less noticeable. So we're gonna curl my eyelashes because I'm using the new Rare Beauty mascara. I don't really curl my eyelashes that much anymore because it scares me, but I'm gonna do it today because I'm using a new one, so I... I'm still really scared of pulling my eyelashes out with these. I feel like I got these free in a magazine. These ones. Uh, I have other eyelash curlers, but these ones I definitely think I got free in a magazine, but they're actually pretty good, to be honest. So it's in a packet, which I always find really difficult to remove, but these are actually quite easy. Well, that's good. That's satisfying. Oh my God, I dropped it. This is my first time opening it. <gasps> She's nice. I love a mini mascara because I, I don't, because basically you you throw them out after six months, so I just get mini ones now. Um, like if it's like an expensive one, if it's, if it's just um, like Maybelline or whatever, like a, the Sky High, which I use all the time, I just get the full size, because I don't think they do minis. No. Okay, I didn't think anything could replace the Sky High. This may replace the Sky High one for me. So when I was in high school, I saw Taylor Swift use that uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex one, so I bought it. Um... And I liked it for a while, but I swear they've changed the formula because it kind of, like, crumbles now. And I swear it didn't used to crumble. I, I like the roller lash one, but I poked myself in the eye with it once, so now I don't like using it. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of battery on my camera. I need to speed. Speed. I don't know if you can see how good this is, but, like, it's good. Okay. This, I love this mascara. Lipstick really, really quick before my camera dies. I'm probably not gonna wear this today because it's a Sunday and I feel like this is too intense for Sunday when I'm not doing anything, but it's the liquid, like the matte one. Uh, it's like a cream one in Inspire. This feels very Selena Gomez like color. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, I will not be wearing this today, but I could see myself wearing this on like a night out. She goes on really, really nicely. Um, I probably won't be wearing this today, but yeah. I quite like that, to be honest. This is not really a lipstick shade I'd usually go for. So the battery died, uh, but we are back. And then, but yeah, that is the full look. I'm gonna change the lipstick because I feel like it's too intense for today, but I think she looks cute. You know the fact that, like, the eyeliner might not look good up close, but like it goes on nicely and that's just me messing it up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna change the lipstick to more of like a lip gloss because I feel like that's more me right now But I'm definitely gonna wear this in the future. Lip glosses I always use, uh, my favourite things ever, are Fenty Any Fenty one is amazing, I love Fenty And the Charlotte Tilbury one um, The applicator, I literally bought this for the applicator because the applicator is quite like unique Because um, it's the shape of a heart which I'm obsessed with The full makeup look, I'm gonna go fix my hair because it looks a bit weird but yeah Hope you liked it.